Hello everyone. So today what we're going to be doing is dyeing or tinting eyebrows. If you've seen any of my previous videos, you can definitely tell that my eyebrows are looking a little bit non-existent. So um, I'm also going to be doing my eyelashes. That'll be a separate video. So a few days ago, I actually did dye my hair and I did that at home. That's something I was doing prior to quarantine um, and so you guys missed out on a video for that but that's just one of the things that I do and um, I actually went to the Dollar Tree and I picked up these little mascara wands because I was running out I am a huge fan of the Dollar Tree so if you want to do your eyebrows you can get the mascara wands for a dollar there and you get eight of them so it's awesome um, I actually evolved into using just for men auto stop um, for my eyebrows. I used to, when I first started getting it or doing it, I would use the eyebrow tint kits. And what I found is that you have to mix the two compounds together and then eventually they start hardening up and you only get a few uses out of them and they were like, you know, 15, 20 bucks. So the just for men auto stop um, actually. I swear it will probably be like a two year supply with as much as I use it and you'll see why. Um, and the nice thing about it is you'll get consistent results each time that you use it because it does have the auto stop in it. So without any further ado, I'm going to open up my little package, get my wands out and I'm just going to use one of the little black ones and this is how you dye or tint your eyebrows. You get the auto stop one. It has the, the stuff inside of it and it's air activated. And that's one of the reasons that I like it is because it does actually have a lot of um, use in it because you don't have to mix two things together and not use some of the product or need to use more of the product later on. You can just grab it, dab it in, do your eyebrows and boom, you're done. Um, it does come with gloves. I don't use gloves because I don't really get any on my hands and it does have instructions as well. I just keep the box so that way when I finally do run out I will be able to purchase the same stuff. I am using the darkest brown um, because my hair is is brown with a little bit of a red highlight to it. Um, so I figured that this was the best color for me. I've used it before. Before you dye your eyebrows, you should always do a color test um, for allergies and things like that. Some people have allergies and they don't know that they do. So what you want to do is use a little bit of it um, on a part of your skin and see if you have a reaction to it. I do not. And so I can just go ahead and proceed. So I actually did open this with a little bit of pressure on there, um, which I didn't intend to do. So normally I just stick the mascara wand in there and then all I'm going to do is cover my eyebrows with it. I'm going to pause you guys so I can get a, cam uh, a mirror so I can see what I'm doing. Okay, so I'm back. Um, so basically you just stick the tip into the wand and I'm going to have to look down to see what I'm doing and you're just brushing it onto your eyebrows. And you don't want to brush a ton. And what I mean by brushing a ton is you don't want to have the mascara wand agitate your skin too much. So you're just trying to get coverage. And you look kind of silly because look, it's huge. So the wand is more so to make sure that you're covering all the hairs that you want to cover, but again, you're not trying to exfoliate your eyebrows with it. Yeah, since this is chemicals, you will end up causing an issue. So there's one. And just popping it into the tube. And it's so easy. Because I used to have to use a timer and hope that it wasn't too much and go through all of this process. And at least for me, it does not dye my skin. 
So what I'll do is I'll just do the coverage. I actually got a little bit too low, but I'll do the coverage for the eyebrows. And you can see that it does darken up as I put it on there. Now I'm just looking for anywhere that I haven't added it. And then I wait 10 minutes. <laughs> and, and then I'll have dyed eyebrows. I got a little messy with this one. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much it. So I'm going to pause you guys and wait 10 minutes. And then I'll show you how to wash it off really quick. And show you the end result. And we're back. It's been 10 minutes. Okay, so now what we're going to do is wet tissue, paper towel, whatever you want to use, a couple squirts of soap, rub it together, and then rinse it off. Alternatively, you can also take a shower, but this is just easier. And you're just rubbing it off. <laughs> with the funny faces and all. And then I'm going to go grab a washcloth and we'll get the rest off. Alright, so I have another washcloth. Scrub, scrub, scrub. It's coming off pretty nice. And then I have a second washcloth that I have running water on. And I use this one as the one to get the soapy residue off. <laughs> you guys get all the funny faces. And again, it doesn't stain the skin. So this eyebrow is pretty much dark and then I have to get the soap off the other one and then we'll come back. All right, everyone. And so now my eyebrows are significantly darker than they were at the light behind me. So it's kind of hard to tell. Um, they still look a little crazy, but <laughs> they look a little crazy like that. Um, but that's mainly because I still need to have the, I need to tweeze them and normally get them waxed. So I'm probably going to end up learning how to wax my own eyebrows pretty soon too. Um, but that's it for today. I hope you guys enjoyed. Thanks. Have a great one.